Good morning, fiber friends. This is Lynn with Chicken Lady Fiber Arts, and this is Vlogmas Day 2. <sighs> Today is our, uh, our church is having a Greek market, and um, I've been working all week at church, getting ready for it, and I wanted to upload very quickly before I left for church because I'm going to be there all day and then of course tomorrow is Sunday and I'll be at services tomorrow but I was there most of most of this week uh, in the evenings helping set up get the, anyway getting things ready um, the first thing I wanted to show you was our Christmas tree this is it it's a little tabletop Christmas tree I have some little ornaments that I glued on so they don't fall off and several years ago I found a little some little um patterns for itty bitty socks and the itty bitty hat and with a little pom pom isn't that cute you see that here's a little sweater made of um Copacabana colorway let's see turn this around here's a sock and here's some little mittens. I think that the pattern is called Teeny Tiny Ornaments, little scarf. And it's just adorable. It sits on our tabletop. We are not, um, we love Christmas as a holiday, but um, we no longer have the big tree and all of the uh, decorations. Just, it's just not us. Okay, let's get to it. You did see uh, Rydell High, which was the first thing that I opened. Now, I'm going to say this about um, the Advent box this year. It was based on the musical Greece, G-R-E-A-S-E, -E, not the country, Greece. Um, it was a musical in 1978 with Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta, and you probably saw it maybe in the theaters way back in the day. So I um, took all of the different songs or the scenes that really spoke to me, and I put them in uh, my adaptation of them in yarn. I sent all the yarn off to my fabulous designer, Liz Clothier, Cloth Clothier, and she put them all in order uh, according to the design that she wanted to make. I gave her free reign on that. Um, so when you open all of these little bags, just know that they are not in the order of the musical numbers or, you know, they don't follow a certain order. It's more about the color, but um, we already opened day one, remember, or number one. This was the big one, and now we're going to, every envelope has a little sticker for the different, we'll open number one, tomorrow number two, blah, blah, blah. Okay, some other things that are in the box that you might have found in your advent box. I always try to include these. These are Enstrom Butter Toffee. Now, Enstrom's is actually made right down the street here. Um, husband and wife made a toffee and uh, with a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate. So the toffee is in here. If you buy a sheet of the toffee, it has crumbled um, almonds on top of it. And it's fascinating that it's literally one block down and like three blocks that way, the the place where they make this, the manufacturing plant. And they have these big, large glass windows in the seating area. You could go get a cup of coffee. You could go make these folks. You could go watch the folks make this toffee. And I'm telling you, they have this big cart that's like in the corner. And one guy, he's got a trash can and that's his job. He unwraps butter and he puts it on the cart. Unwraps butter a pound at a time. So it's like mounded up with butter. 
I mean, there's a reason it's called butter toffee. These are delicious. It is uh, 8 16 in the morning. I'm not going to open this because that's going to throw off my whole day. I usually do an intermittent fasting and don't eat until noonish or one ish. Okay, let me open this up. Excuse the crinkling. I packed these so long ago that I forget what's in each one. Oh, okay, day one. There it is. Some purples and grays and browns and up. Oh, I see some greens in there. Right, the sunlight is over here, but it's kind of filtered because it's foggy out today. This one is called Rizzo. Something about my Avent kits that I want to, I don't just throw yarn in there, yarn in a bag and then ship it off to you. I want to do my research a little bit. I want to tell you why I chose these colors or a little something. Last year I did the books. Remember that, the band book to Avent? And I wanted to give you a little information about the books. Um, it's the teacher in me. If you're not getting knowledge, then what's the purpose, right? So I try to make this a little bit of a learning experience and a little bit of fun. So this one is called Rizzo. And I put the lyrics in here and I'm not gonna sing them. I don't steal and I don't lie, but I can feel and I can cry effect, I bet, a fact I bet you never knew. But to cry in front of you, that's the worst thing I could do. Okay, I did sing. Stockard Channing was 33 years old when she played Betty Rizzo in the 1978 movie. And when she sings this song, um, she's wearing a very uh, purple shirt and there's some green grass behind her. I think she's on the like the lawn of the school singing. Okay, so this is going to be the second color. Now, I did um, already knit the first part. The This is a cres crescent shawl-ish shape and Liz has a um, 13 stitches here, and it's a little bit of a cable, a uh, double cable, and then this is the part that's going to widen, see? It's going to get larger and larger and larger, so, okay. So you knit until, I think there's 24 stitches on that side of the marker. So I'm almost, I'm, I think I have about one, one or two more rows and uh, then I will put in this color. So you're gonna carry the main color up the sides. Okay, so the sunlight is making my transition glasses go a little bit dark. Hey, we are all about um, being comfortable over here, right? Okay, so I showed you that. Um, I had one other thing to show you, and then uh, I gotta take off because I gotta go to church and help make the coffee and set up. We are get, we are selling boxes of um, baklava, paximadia, uh, kurumbiedas, and there's one other thing, kulurakia. So uh, four different desserts. It's a little dessert box. We are also selling um, pans of spanakopita, which spanakopita is that uh, filo dough with feta cheese and butter. Yum. More butter. And do you ever notice that the small word but is in butter? Because that's where it ends up. Um, Spanakopita has the spinach. Uh, I don't really care for that. I don't think that spinach, spinach belongs raw and in a salad. Cooked spinach is nasty. I think personal opinion, please don't come after me, spinach council. Okay, uh, my one little thing I wanted to show you. Ba -ba All my kittes are finished. 
our daughter was born in 2001 and every kitty cat is a different month of her first year in the town in which we lived. So, um, this is my temperature cross stitch. I've already showed it to her, so it's not a surprise, but I do need to wash and um, block it. And then I'm gonna take it to, I don't know, the framing place. I don't, I've never gotten anything framed in this town. So uh, I'm gonna have to ask around who the best framing place. You know, I know that Michaels does it and they always have that 50% coupon. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get that done. Okay, kids, I am off today. I hope that you have a beautiful December 3rd or December 2nd. And it is a light dusting of snow outside. Um, let me turn this a little bit and I could show you. This is my office. Um, and this is called, I didn't name it this, the treehouse room. And you can see why, because we look out onto the trees. So this building right here, that's like uh, a little, we call it the gazobi. It's the gazebo and that is um, where we keep all of our gardening stuff. And then, whoops, over here, this building right there is the uh, carriage house where the original owners um, took their carriage back in and out, okay? So that is where we are. All right, now you know what my little office looks like. And this part over here, it is, um, it's like a yarn store threw up over here because there's just yarn and paper and stuff everywhere. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta get to church. Love you all, and I hope that you're having a fabulous day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.